Hello and a very warm welcome and I can say a very hot welcome here in Singapore. Alleged temperatures down pitch side are about 45 degrees Celsius. You would not want to be out there playing sports in conditions like this. It is very hot, humid and sticky. However, these girls will battle against the heat and try to get victory for their respected countries. It is Kazakhstan against Sri Lanka, and it's a Kazakhstan side that defeated Cambodia by 14 goals to nil. A real thumping victory as they got their campaign underway. They followed that up with an 8-0 victory over Brunei. Whereas Sri Lanka, they went down fighting 6-1 to Singapore in their opening game, and then they went on to lose 9-0 against Thailand and a 4-1 defeat against Hong Kong sandwich between those results means that Sri Lanka will be playing for pride Kazakhstan on the other hand they'll be looking to emulate what they did in 2014 in Singapore where it was round one again where they managed to beat Thailand Hong Kong and Myanmar before defeating Singapore in the semi-finals but losing 5-0 to Malaysia in the final in round two they finished in the classification in fifth place, oh sorry, sixth place after losing a 9-0 to Russia. That managed to come off the back of a quarter-final loss to Thailand and then down the classification ladder, beating Singapore by two goals to one before that defeat, and a heavy defeat it was against Russia. That came as a massive shock to them as they had won earlier in Pool B by three goals to two against the Russians. However, they could not see the classification match over the line. So we're almost all set to go. It will be Kazakhstan in the dark blue strip kicking, or I should say hitting from left to right that get us going. And straight away, Sabazova can look to get things moving. Dobrioglu just calmly pushes it out from the back. We may see a little bit of a slower tempo due to the weather conditions. Extremely hot and sticky. Given away there, though, Misha, who scored against Singapore. That late, late goal tries to drive into the D. Well read and well defended in the end. Dobrioglu, the 27-year-old who also got on the score sheet, gives it away cheaply. Help forwards, though, Sri Lanka... Looking strong here into the D, and it's a good save in the end. Just booted away. Bakavadin having to clear her lines. Maybe just a little warning there to this Kazakh side. Sri Lanka. Well, five metres not adhered to, so now Kazakhstan can come forwards. Tomasz Neva scoops it forwards. Just to have been to a little bit too high and dangerous in and around the players, so Sri Lanka get the hit. Now look to play out from the back. Budika drills it forwards. Mokasheva comfortable for her. Santova helps it down the line. A lovely little touch back inside there. Tomasz Neva driving into the D, gets there to the byline, pulls it back, and it's a decent ball as well. The whistle finally goes. It is going to be a short corner. So the first short corner of the game goes in favour of Kazakhstan. A real good drive on that occasion. Tomasz Neva forcing away right down to the line and pulling it back. Let's see what they have from this short corner. Brunei taking on Cambodia at the moment in the women's pool as well. That's currently nil-nil. Ten minutes left in that first half. There's the inject. And, well, the feint, and it goes just wide. Not bad play at all, and a good variation to the short corner. We've not seen one like that throughout this tournament so far. Dobrioglu. The girl that hit it, goal bound. Sri Lanka looked to get on with things quickly. Chatharika closed down. Catalina 
tries to find Sazantova, just couldn't keep it in play. Shanika. Madura. Fires one downfield. Manages to find Nayana, who gets dispossessed. Good defending there from the Kazakhs. Patanta. Katika. On the challenge in from behind, Mukasheva just a little bit too keen to win it. That's good play though from Budika. Well, she was looking to drive into the D. The check coming. So the hit going in favour of Sri Lanka. officials making sure that all the rules are adhered to as we've seen throughout the whole of this competition the time and space Sazantova gets into the D good stick work from her Tomasz Neva Tries to pull it back and then try to win it back. Shanika in the right place at the right time. Good defending from her. So Katika will leave this one and it will be Pradipa that can get things going. Nicely held forwards, Niana. Looking to get on the turn. Contact made with the foot, though. Good work there from Pradipa. Chaturika fires it into the D. Does take a deflection, so rather than take any chances... Bakhavadin launches it clear. Drilled into the D on that occasion from Nayana. And Sri Lanka get their first short corner of the game as well. Sri Lanka doing what they've done in previous games, making it very difficult in the opening exchanges. However, they do seem to fade a little bit as the game goes on. Let's see what happens here. Pull back, it's a slow ball back. Scoot forwards, but it hits the feet, and you can see there the disappointment etched on the face of Budika. She knew that that had hit her foot. That was enough for the officials to blow the whistle. Sabazova plays it down the line. Well picked up, though, by Domashneva. Domashneva driving into the box. It's scoot forwards. And it could have been the first goal there. Konina in a very good position. A good save, though, from Arandi. Keeper in the right place at the right time. And there's a bit of an inquisition going on there in the defence of Sri Lanka. Not happy that they allowed the time and space there. So Katita, it's us back underway. Scooped and bowled forwards in the end. Sri Lanka 
leaving one player right up in the deep. So you have to say they'll be looking for that long ball into the area. For Tanta, it's exactly what she tried to do. Amisha it is that's just hanging around in front of the keeper. Good start from Gatolina. Well, that's well kept in. Oh, it's just a judge to have gone out. Conina, not happy at all that that was given out. Katika tries to fire it forwards, easily stopped. Sabazova dispossessed. Niana into the D. Well, it's a tactic we haven't seen from Sri Lanka so far in this tournament. Looking to get the ball forwards as quickly as possible. Patana keeps it simple. It's a lovely ball back inside as well. And a chance here for Sri Lanka. Just bounced up and caught the leg of Niana. That was a real opportunity. Good touch from Tomasheva. Katika gets there first. Trying to battle away and fight and wins it back. Just a little bit too heavy. Catalina with the scoop forwards. It's a lovely one as well. Well read though from Gitani. Very, very good defending there from the 27 year old. This time, Kazakhstan tried to smash it into the zone. They get the deflection and they'll get the long corner. That's very, very good defending. It's exactly what Sri Lanka needed. Yamuna helps it on. Ball touching the line. Chatharika couldn't keep it in play. Scoop forwards looking for the run of Domashneva. She shows good stick work. Domashneva. Couldn't really make anything happen. So Sri Lanka do well to overturn this. However, Domashneva back there battling and fighting for the ball. Catalina fired in high and a little bit wide. And a few words there from the head coach, Senek Kalimbaev. Just wanting a little bit more construction in that final quarter and in and around the D. Oh, that's lovely play. It's a lovely ball played forwards from Pradipa, and it's put Badika in here. Badika trying to force her way into the deep. Doesn't give up, carries on the chase, but the Kazakhs clear their lines. There was a foot used there, so the whistle will go. That's a mistake from Idirisova. Shanika. Does well to shield the ball, has to keep that ball moving. Oh, it's a lovely turn from Chatorica. Skips past the challenge, no advantage. The umpire on the near side had already raised her arm. Mayumi Fujihara, who's on this near side. Mr. Mala Arafin on the far side, keeping closed tabs on everything that's going on. There was a foot use there that Sri Lanka got away with. Scoot forwards, and unfortunately, Katika didn't use the stick, it just hit a midriff. Kazakhstan can come again. That's a good drive from Konina.
short corner end. So the second short corner of the game for Kazakhstan. Been a tight, cagey affair this one so far. It's half time in the Brunei Cambodia game. Nil nil currently in that one. Bringing the score all the way through the second half as well. If you're keeping tabs on where the pools stand and sit. Injected to the edge of the D and the scoop forwards and off the line. It's a real scramble in a melee. And <laughs> the ball just completely stuck between two sticks. Oh, that's a big air shot. And <laughs> the umpire on this near side, Miss Fujihara, having none of that. And awarding Sri Lanka the hit. What a real chance that was then for Kazakhstan to take the lead yet again. As it is, though, it's still 0-0. Idrisova finds Sabozova. Gatolina. Well batted away there from Budika. Normal service resumes with Dobriologa. Just keeping it simple, however, that ball into the D, not having enough of an angle on it for the runners to make their move. Harmlessly behind for the hitting. Side down the line. That's a lot of pace as well, and it's gone out deep into Kazakh territory, so they'll have to force themselves back here. Sri Lanka still looking to push and press a little bit higher up the field than the half court that we saw in their last game. Sabazova. Konina does well to skip past the challenge. Did well to keep it in play as well. Gitani just getting a touch, so the long corner. Everybody back for Sri Lanka. That's a little bit too heavy there for Mir Kashmov. Unable to keep that one in. Easily picked off by Dobri Logo. A little bit of hesitation as well in the Sri Lankan defence. Just fired away to safety from Pradipa. Long corner again. More pressure mounting on the Sri Lankan defence as Kazakhstan really start to get to grips with this game. Better from them. Catalina fired out wide. Sabazova fires it in. Deflected wide. Another long corner. Taken quickly by Catalina, who fires it in right against the shins of Shanika. Oh, I heard that crack from up here in the commentary position. I think, as we've mentioned before, when you connect with this ball properly, you can hit it in excess of 100 kilometers an hour, 100 miles an hour. You don't want to be in the way, even if you are wearing shin pads. I've seen shin pads shattered from impacts like that. There'll be a big bruise there in the morning, so Shanika will have to go off and probably get the ice on it straight away. Vitally important in this game that all the ladies are wearing the correct protective wear. Of course, that does mean the shin pads and when they are defending these short corners or the penalty corners, they do put the head guards on as well because there can be some ferocity 
in the strikes. Here's one player who can hit it, Catalina. Alex to go short this time, trips up and treads on the ball. They've had to water the pitch just to take the heat out of it and take the edge off it. That happened just before hit off. Well, one back though from Kazakhstan. Catalina wins the third short corner. Well, the horn goes right halfway through the first 35 minutes. A very, very sensible decision from the officials here this week and all those entrusted with running this tournament that there will be a water break halfway through. That way it enables the players just to freshen themselves up. That, of course, will transpire after this short corner. A lot of Kazakh players hanging in and around the D. There's the stop. And again, that same variation as the first one. A good save and hooked away in the end. Another short corner, though. And Andy doing ever so well defensively there. The good news is Shanika is hobbling back around the field of play. Very big shin pad that she's got out as well. Doesn't look happy though. Scoot forwards. Another good save from Effendi. Sticks flying around all over the place. That's a lovely stick work as well. There was a hit there. And there is the break whistle. So halfway through the first 35, we will stop for a drinks break. It's 0-0, Kazakhstan and Sri Lanka. The girls will come back onto the field of play in a couple of minutes' time. That should just give us time to bring you up to speed on what's happening throughout the competition. Hong Kong, well, they defeated Brunei three goals to nil. Sri Lanka, 4-1. But they did lose to Singapore, 1-0. So... They're sitting in an OK position. Singapore beat Sri Lanka 6-1 and Hong Kong 1-0. They've just had the two games. The draw has been very favourable to them. The ties, well, they're out in front at the moment. 14-0 against Cambodia, 7-0 against Brunei, 9-0 against Sri Lanka. That is a return of 30 goals in three games. They will be taking on Singapore a little bit later on, a game that you can catch live on the stream if you so desire, but it promises to be a real, real interesting game between the two sides that will be vying to get themselves through to round two of this, the Women's Hockey World League. As for the men, well, lots of action coming thick and fast, as always. Not just the women are here, it's the men as well. Men's Group A will be playing a little bit later on. Hong Kong will take on China. How about that for a mouth-watering tie? That promises to be an absolute cracker. Vietnam will take on Thailand as well. That all in pool eight, but it is the Chinese that look the team to beat there, having defeated Vietnam 11-0 and Thailand 11-1. The Thais fancied to finish second in pool eight, but they're gonna have to pull something out when they take out or take on Vietnam a little bit later on, but all eyes firmly focused on that Hong Kong versus China game. That game coming up at 5.30, so make sure you tune back in for that stream. As for Paul B, the big news was, was that Singapore lost last night 2-1 to Sri Lanka. It was a great start for Singapore, who popped the ball around and looked very, very confident and should really have made more of the short corners that they had in that first period. However, it was only 1-0 at half-time. But boy, oh boy, didn't Sri Lanka come to the party in the second 35. They thoroughly deserved the 2-1 victory. That one turned out to be the match of the tournament so far. Singapore have also beaten Kazakhstan, who in turn beat Myanmar. But it's Sri Lanka that are sitting at the top of Pool B, having scored nine goals and just conceded one. Don't forget all the action coming your way from the Senkang Hockey Complex. 
World League action round one. The big guns start to come in in round two, where, of course, it is a seeded global tournament, but everybody having the opportunity to play and everybody having the opportunity to qualify. That is why we have round one right here in Singapore, as it was last time out as well. So 12 places separating these two sides in the world rankings. Kazakhstan 33, Sri Lanka 45. However, Sri Lanka proving to be a stubborn obstacle, which we have seen in previous games as well. Words of encouragement there. Garambe on the bench trying to get behind his team. So it's Kazakhstan that get us back underway. Nil-nil the scoreline. Well read there from Amisha. Well picked up by Charmaine. Oh, and that's well won though by Catalina. Good stick work from her. Catalina wins the hit, takes it quickly, looks into the deep. Tomasz Neva was there. Fired forwards from Pradipa into the path of Niana. Niana tries to scoop it forwards, looking for the run of Amisha. However, well picked off by the Kazakhs. Well won by Prathana. Seems to be a little bit of a problem there for Konina. Four goals so far in this tournament. She's just limped off there. Looks as though she's really struggling. Looks like a shoulder injury as well over on that far side. That will not be good news for Kazakhstan. Tomasz Nevo with the ball back inside. Well picked up. Here is the skipper, Gatolina. Three goals to her name so far as well in this tournament. Tomasz Neva. Lovely stick work from Tomasz Neva. Skips and jinx past the challenges. Helps it back into the middle. As it is, it's gone behind. No contact made. But again, a few harsh words being said in that defence. We actually saw this with the men yesterday. Sri Lankans not adverse to having a little argument with themselves, shall we say. Trying to sort out the issues and the problems. Tika with the ball forwards conceding possession. Oh, that's lovely play. Oh, the big lunging challenge as well from the skipper. Catalina trying to come away with the ball but couldn't. That's good stick work though from Chatarica. Looks to bring others into play. Back to Catarica. Chatarica doing well and wins the hits. Just not taken in the right place. Well, a couple of deflections sees it go behind. Sri Lankans thought that that was a long corner. Not given, though. And Kazakhstan with the hit. That's a great driving run there from Sezantova. Squares it into the middle. And Doma Shineva is in the right place at the right time for her fifth of the competition. It's the first one of the day today. But sliding in unopposed and simply tapping it home. Doma Shineva gives Kazakhstan the lead. Well, it's been a long time coming, but you have to say with the pressure that they have applied, it's been deserved.
Lovely turn from Gatolina. Gatolina just plays it out wide. Satantova, the provider of the first almost turn provider there, but she has won a short corner. That will be the fifth of this first half for Kazakhstan. Yet to score from one yet. As the Salita Air Base provides us with a little bit of entertainment with the Jets flying over. Can the Kazakhs fly one into the back of the net? Good stop, fired forwards just wide though. That was the power that we were on about that some of these Kazakhs girls have. That was absolutely no nonsense. Emangalieva, it was with the strike. And the veteran of the team, the 38-year-old, wasn't a million miles away. Sri Lanka get the hit. Gitani. Well, a little bit of a nudge off the ball. As shown from the Japanese official. Well read from Gatika. Tries to turn back inside, wins the hit. Good play from her. Shanika. Tradipa. Oh, just tries to thread it through the eye of a needle. Just a little bit too tight. Kazakhstan can come again. Idrisiova. Here's the goal scorer, Domashneva. Good stick work from her. Domashneva with a reverse strike, hits the post. Danger not clear yet, though. Madhu, Madura back there. Well, a big coming together there. Sherman just blocking out Idrisova. Kazakhstan want to get on with this quickly though. Help back into the middle. Well read though. And fired forwards from Perdipa. Easily dealt with. Hussein finds Mukasheva, who tries to find the angle but couldn't. Chaturika wins the hit. That's on with things quickly. Goes the other way. Well, trying to play the advantage. Kazakhs didn't deal with it. Kitika. Play on side the officials. Shamadanova just tried to feed it inside the wide player. Well read though from Tratana. Amishi doing well and winning the hit. Chaturika. A little bit stop starty at the moment. Chaturika tries to go past but can't. There's a reach for the pocket there. The whistle's gone. Green card shown to Mukasheva. There's the little deflection. Long corner. Mukasheva will be off for two minutes.
can Sri Lanka capitalise? Eight minutes left of this half. Reverse ball into the middle and the little swing there from Niana. The ball had judged to have been dangerous, so the whistle goes. Kazakhstan come again. Little slip then here on the touchline from Usin. Well picked up from Idrisova, who goes again. Idrisova tried to skip and jink past two challenges. Not happy with that challenge, the official on this side. So that's going to be a yellow card shown to Gatika. That's five minutes out of the game for her. So 10 against 10, and into the foot there of Niana. There's the angle, there's the deflection. The goal scorer, Tomasz Neva, just trying to guide it into goal, but couldn't. Has to go down as a chance. Good stick work from Chatarika. Sri Lanka slow to push up from the back there. Relying on Pradipa to come forwards. That's lovely play from Budika. Given away cheaply though. Pradipa. Chaturika. Oh, lovely play from Chatarika. Did all the hard work, but just couldn't deliver the end product. You have to say that's a chance gone begging. Did really well to create the yard for herself, but just couldn't finish it off. Kazakhstan back up to the full 11. Good work from Idrisova. Lukasheva fires it in. Well, two or three touches needed from Maduro. Maduro doing well. Goes harmlessly behind for a hit in. It's a good run forwards from Shanika. Well defended. Chepkasova driving forwards. But again, Pradipa in the right place just to cut that one out. Mukasheva. Asking a lot there of Sabazova. Well read from Budika. Can they hit with the pace that they desire? Sri Lanka, that's great stick work. Platana driving into the D, helps it forwards. Good defending though. Sabazova was back there and had to just flick it away to safety. Long corner. Pratana keeps it simple. Yamuna. On the little control, Imangaliev. 
just couldn't bring it down and control it for herself. The oldest member of the Kazakh side at 38. Lovely stick work from Budika. There's the deflection, goal band. And quite rightly, the officials are pointing for the short corner. It's only their second of the half, but only trailing by one goal to nil. Anything could happen. Well, we've yet to see them score from a short corner, although they have had opportunities and chances. Let's see what happens here when this one's injected. It's a nice stop. Here's Budika. Looks to fire it. Goal bound. Hit behind. Long corner. Time ticking by. The officials won't like that, but Badika gets on with it quickly. Katika back on the field of play now. Drills it into the deep. That's a bad touch, and that's going to be a short corner straight away. An awful touch. Gifting an opportunity here to Sri Lanka right at the end of the first half. 90 seconds remain. It's still the Kazakhs that lead by one goal to nil. Tituri will be the injector. What can they come up with here? Will it be Pradipa that will get on it or Budika? It's Budika with a strike. Pushed away to safety. Bakavadin, no problems from her. However, it had skipped up, so the officials deeming that it wasn't going to count into the final minute then. Kazakhstan have controlled this game and created the better opportunities it has to be said a good touch there from Konina Konina helps it forwards into Domashneva lovely little give and go back to Domashneva it's helped on bit of time and space here and that's really well worked Domashneva couldn't sort the stick out quickly enough was looking to try and flick it back in on the reverse just couldn't get on with it quickly enough here's a miscontrol from Pratana Sabazova, six, five seconds left, four, three, two, one. That's just going to about do it for this first half. There is the horn to bring the first period to a close. It's a 1-0 lead then for Kazakhstan, courtesy of Domash Neva, who slid in at the far post just to deflect it past the Randy in goal. But Sri Lanka have created a couple of chances themselves, but it is the Kazakhs that are on top of this. Can they see the dominance through in the second period? We'll find out in a few minutes' time. The second half coming up, but at half-time here, it's Kazakhstan 1, Sri Lanka 0.
Very warm welcome back to the Senkang Hockey Complex here in Singapore. It's round one of the World League of Hockey. It's the women's event at the moment. Seven teams all pulled together. They'll play each other once to see who will progress. It's Kazakhstan beating Sri Lanka by one goal to nil at the moment. However, Sri Lanka have given a good account to themselves. The heat very much getting to the players. I think you can certainly say that. It's dropped to 42 degrees Celsius in the centre circle, as it were, or right on the centre spot. That tells you how hot it is here. And with the humidity, it's very, very sticky as well. Chance here for Chaturika. Does well to skip past a couple of challenges. It's blocked out a couple of hooks of the sticks. Dobrioglo committing the foul, so Sri Lanka get the hit. Drilled and fired in dangerously. They wanted the touch, not given. Play continues. Pradipa, let's put under a little bit of pressure. Nicely helped on. So Sri Lanka looking to go all out at the start of this second half. Shanika tries to work the line. Niyana in support, dispossessed, however. The goal scorer, Domashneva. It's her goal that separates the two sides at the moment. Sri Lanka in the ascendancy at the moment. Fired into the deep, just pushed away. Play allowed to continue. Possession kept. Shamadanov gives it away. Pratanta finds Gatika. Thomas Neva helps it forwards. Ball hitting the foot, but Kazakhstan keen and eager to get on with this quickly. Thomas Neva, well closed down by Gitani. Thomas Neva, lovely stick work from her. Well read though from Pratanta. Good play from Gatolina, the skipper. Was looking to get into the D. Well, they played a bit of an advantage. However, it didn't transpire for Kazakhstan. Good tracking back from Amisha. However, a foul committed. Another hit for Kazakhstan. It's a hit out. Much to the bemusement of the Kazakh players. Well picked off by Sabazova. Well played into the path of Chaturika, who turns and looks to go forwards. Concedes possession, though. 
Fabrioglo fires it into the D. No nonsense from Madura. Has to clear the lines, and that's exactly what she did. Imangalieva into the D. Well picked off by Gitani. Well played from the Kazakhs. Winning the hit. That's a lovely play. Scoot forwards as well. Tomashina Eva trying to get the shot away. Wins the first short corner of the second half. Seven different options in and around the D. It's a good pullback. It's a lovely set and fired forwards and deflected in from Domesh Neva for her second. Powered forwards by Dobri Logo. However, Domesh Neva was right at the far post to just guide it in. And again, it's a very, very well worked short corner. More importantly, for Kazakhstan, it gives them a 2 0 lead. Can Sri Lanka get themselves back into this? Big strong challenge there, right on the hands of Domish Neva. Little shake of the wrists, she seems to be okay. Kazakhstan can get back underway. In the other game, still going on, it's still nil-nil between Brunei and Cambodia. Hard fought encounter going on over there on pitch two. This one is still hard fought for the Sri Lankans. It also is for the Kazakhs who are having to try and keep Sri Lanka at bay. Fired forwards all the way. Well, it's going to be a long corner. Clock will stop just so a change can be made in goal. Sakuntala will be given her opportunity and chance. Just gives time for Kazakhstan to get everybody back. That's a lovely turn. And, well, you can see Sri Lanka wanting that. Finally, it's given. So it's going to be their short corner and their first one of this second half. Can they get any joy? That's the big question. So 
So not as many options as the Kazakhs. Stop the flick. It's nice. It's back between the legs. It's drilled and fired forwards from Nyana. It did hit the legs, so short corner number two coming up in quick succession. They like to go even shorter this time. Well controlled and drilled forwards, and you can see exactly what they were trying to do, Sri Lanka. Not a million miles away. That was unlucky. Amisha almost getting the touch that was required, but unfortunately just couldn't get there. Fadipa helps it forwards, Gatika. Fired into the D. Catalina was just in the way, managed to get a stick to it. That's going to go bowling out of play. Kazakhstan pushing on a little bit higher up the field of play now. Padipa wanting the hit, not given. So Gatalina fires it forward. A lovely touch there from Domash Neva. Just couldn't move with the ball though. Advantage played, Budica concedes possession. Dobri Glolo just keeps it simple. Sabazova wanted the hit for obstruction, not given. Shamadinov. Fires it into the D, and you could see exactly what Domish Neva was trying to do. Flick it towards goal. Harmlessly behind for a Sri Lanka hit. Work up the line, looking for Domash Neva. There are a couple of shirts getting into the box. Domash Neva wins the long corner. Good touch. And short corner awarded. So this will be the second one of the second half. They scored with their first. Tomasz Neva coming in right at the far post just to guide it inside. Will it be something similar this time? Again, six bodies this time in and around the D. Stop not the best, but scoot forwards a good save in the end. Well, that's gone in favour, much to the bemusement of Kazakhstan. And also, Sri Lanka both felt that they'd won that hit. However, short corner awarded. Short corner number three. It's a better stop this time. Push just forwards. Tomasz Neva 
from the position she scored earlier, trying to help it back in the middle. The foot used from Gatika. Pressure mounting here now for Sri Lanka. Feel it's only a question of time before Kazakhstan get another one of these right. Lots of different variations this time. Well, they've tried to do it again. Gatika had her leg in the way. Short corner number five. Sustained pressure here now from Kazakhstan. They need to make it count though. It's still only 2-0. Back to the edge of the D. This time teed up nicely. Held forwards, another good save. Pushed into that far post area again. Domasheva had two attempts to put it in the back of the net. Mirkash Morva, it was with the initial shot. Pushing it, goal bound. However, Domasheva couldn't make it count. Sri Lanka now looking to go forwards. Chatarika doing well. Great stick work from Chatarika who drives it in. A good save though. Back over in. The right place at the right time. Good start from Hashani. Well, looking for the run there of. Chaturi, just a little bit too far away from the ball on that occasion. Well kept in play from Hashani. Fired forwards, easily dealt with though. Dobrioglo helps it on. Sazantova. Kazakhstan just couldn't keep it in play, so they can come again here, Sri Lanka. Ball played into acres of space, but absolutely nobody there. So an easy ball for Sri Lanka to pick up just as we come to the halfway point of the second half. There the horn goes. The girls will go off for a four-minute break. So Kazakhstan have managed to double their advantage. It was Domashneva that was right at the far post to just tap it home. It's Kazakhstan that lead by two goals to nil.
So the players making their way back on after the quick water break. As you can see, the pitch being watered as well, and the players quite happy to just get themselves out there and, well, get a little bit of water on themselves. It is very hot and sticky. Temperature has dropped slightly from earlier on. However, it is very, very hot out there today. So Sri Lanka get us back underway. Good work from Hashani. Very well played from Chaturika. He looks to drive into the D, goes goal bound, kicked away. Well picked up by Dobrioglo. Well, it does look as though the game on pitch two has finished. It was nil-nil between Brunei and Cambodia. However, it does look as though it's Brunei that have won 3-2 on penalties. Bring you confirmation of that shortly, but that's certainly the way that it's looking. So, a real tight cagey affair there, and our first draw of the whole competition in normal time. Fight forwards into the path of Niana. Niana. Driving for the D. All hands on deck. Oh, but that's lovely play. Well, a big lunging challenge there. Just basically gifts the short corner to Sri Lanka. So a chance for them yet again. Okay, not so many bodies sacrifice forwards from the Sri Lankans. Let's have a look if they can muster anything up here. They like to go short again. Time for Chaturika. Just a miscontrol from her though. A lovely turn back inside. Chaturika trying to drive for the byline. However, the reverse clearance coming in from Catalina. No nonsense defending from her. That's a poor ball inside, well read from Domash Neva. She loses out as well. Chaturika. Not played from Pradipa. Drilled forwards, but easily picked off by Gatani. Well, 
again, just slightly wasteful. So Sri Lanka will have to try and go again as Kazakhstan look as though they should be able to hang on here. Hit in favour of Kazakhstan. That's a lovely play. Well defended in the end, though, but Catalina fires it in, looks for any kind of touch or deflection. The challenges came in, but it goes in favour of the Sri Lankans. Chatarika just bring that one under control. So the Kazakhs can build again. Nicely played down the line, looking for a Domashneva. Lovely skill from her. Wins the hits as well. Just a block coming together more than anything. Well read from Gatika. Oh, that's Shanika that's gone to ground. Just got caught. has resulted in a card. So that is Mekashimova that will go off. Good play. Chaturika again on the burst. Checking back inside, fires it into the D, looks for the deflection, well defended though and solid from Chepkasova. Yeah, it looked as though Sri Lanka had won that ball back there. They're not happy with that decision at all. However, the umpires are always right when it comes to hockey. Really not happy with that one is Gatalina. And a real chance here for Sri Lanka. Struck wide of the goal. Chatarika found herself with time and space, but just couldn't hit the target. Well, a wasted opportunity then for Sri Lanka. She really had to do better on that occasion. Fired forwards looking for... Domashneva, lovely turn from her. Does well to get the ball out of her feet. Still on the burst, Domashneva. Contact made, long corner. Shemadinov. Trying to drill that one in. Well picked off, though. And well done from Pradipa. Looks to get on with things quickly. Help forwards into the path there of Amisha. However, Kazakhstan closed down very quickly. Advantage played. Katalina. She helps it on. Konina just trying to skip through but couldn't. Well defended again. Niana, Chaturika, good stick work from her, draws the hit, fired in and booted away, no nonsense, and Sri Lanka lose the opportunity once more.
Well read there. Iman Galieva tees it up nicely for Catalina. That's good play. Nice ball. Shaima Danoff down the line. Satantova pulls it back inside. Iman Galiev. Tomasz Neva helps it back in. Iman Galiev wins the hit. Catalina just trying to feed it into Sasantova. Just a little bit too far ahead. Nothing could be done about that there then. Madora fires it forwards. Iman Galieva. Just a judge to have touched it with a foot. Sazantova has the runner. Shaimazanov doing ever so well, pulling it back. No one there, but Tomasz Neva is going to get there. Just well to shield the ball. Tomasz Neva fired back to the penalty spot. And one one back. Ball bouncing and bobbling around. Bodies all over the place. And because of that, the short corner awarded. They haven't had one for a while, Kazakhstan. Deeper it was that was lying on the floor and trying to get a stick to it. Just couldn't make anything happen though. Well, just didn't work. So. Katika gets things underway very quickly. Sri Lanka will look to push bodies forwards, but that's well defended from Konina, who keeps it simple. Tomasz Neva. Well, you could see they were trying to link up the two goals there. Pradipa. Forced all the way back. Oh, that was almost through. Niana just trying to find Amisha. Had that have gone through, Amisha is one that knows where the back of the net is. Just under five minutes to go. Well kept in play there from Gatolina. Fired across the D. The little deflection there was a stumble more than anything from Domash Neva. Well, that's going to go all the way out. Not a lot going on there. Chepkasova just keeps it simple. Sazontova Not wanting the runner to come short. However, Shaimadanova didn't move there. Gatika does well to hold off the challenges and gets the hit as well. Fired debound but nobody in there and again the Sri Lankans Nayana leading the call as well all arguing with each other mm -hmm. 
Sazantova. Gatolina does well after sorting a feet out. Gatolina, lovely stick work from Gatolina. And that was an open goal for Domasneva. Almost a carbon copy of her second goal where she just popped it in at that far post area. Somehow missed that one altogether. And you have to say, that was a real chance. Into the final three minutes. It looks as though Kazakhstan will hold on here. Probably on the balance of play and chances created, you would say deserved. But it's big news and a big result for Kazakhstan. It will mean that they've won all three of their pool games so far, which puts them in the box seat along with Thailand. They won't have scored as many goals as Thailand. However, they will be unbeaten. That promises to be a very interesting game come later in this pool. That one's gone in favour of Sri Lanka. They were wanting the short corner. As it is, they've only got the hit. The judges have been just outside the D. Well, Sri Lanka in two of their games have scored in the final minute, but they're not going to score with shots like that. The game against Singapore, they scored a last gaff's goal. And the game against Hong Kong, exactly the same. Well, the China men's team has just arrived. Looking very fetching in their turquoise shirts. They'll be the next game up. They will take on Hong Kong. But of course, it is China that are the red hot favourites. But they have come with a very, very young team indeed. It's going to be interesting to see how they can adapt to the game and how they take on Hong Kong a little bit later on. As it is, we're into the final minute here. Kazakhstan looking as though they are going to take the spoils here. Yellow card has been shown to Mukasheva. That will be the end of her match. And that will mean that no matter what, Kazakhstan will finish with 10 players on the field. Fired in, Chatarika just caught the leg. And you just wondered if Sri Lanka were going to do it again. A last minute goal. Which, of course, would have been too little, too late. So the clock ticking down. It's been a hard-fought victory for Kazakhstan. They'll know they're in a game here, and there are ice baths for the players to jump in afterwards. Don't be surprised to see them jump in there as the temperatures have soared here, both off the field and on the field. But it is Kazakhstan that run out 2-0 winners. A brace then from Doneshneva. First one in the first half in the 22nd minute, and then from the penalty corner, just patrolling that far post, tucking it in in the 43rd minute to give Kazakhstan a 2-0 lead. They're still unbeaten. They're the side to beat along with Thailand in this women's pool. And as mentioned earlier, that promises to be a fascinating game a little bit later on in this competition. But it's finished here. Kazakhstan 2, Sri Lanka 0. We've got more great action coming a little bit later on in the men's pool A. Hong Kong will take on China. And then a little bit later on in the women's pool, Thailand will take on Singapore. That one promises to be a belter as well. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you in a little while's time.